Hello there. Now, I'm not usually the kind to make these videos, but I've made a rather important discovery that I thought bears talking about. Um, basically, it's using gravity drives on ships, uh, especially larger ships, and very large gravity drives. Um, because Not only do they pr provide some pretty impressive acceleration for their mass, but I've noticed a, a curious little effect I'm not sure if people have documented properly. Now, you might notice I'm able to pull off really quite high speed turns, so I'm going close to the maximum speed limit, and I'm doing so without any kind of really noticeable drifting. You know, I pulled practically a 180 turn here, and I'm still not carrying on the way I was going. And I'm doing this in a large ship. However, what you might not have noticed is I don't have any dampening turned on. Um, I have the thrusters here, so I can brake at the re the end because this only accelerates in one direction. Uh, but I'm not using them right now, and yet I'm able to manoeuvre better than I would be able to on thrusters. Now I'm not entirely clear on the mechanics behind this, but it appears that the gravity well is bleeding off the horizontal movement um, as you're pulling the ship forward, and this m means you could make some very big ships without the need for huge arrays of thrusters. Essentially it would be like a hyperdrive, you could power the ship from one location to another and not... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was kind of thrown then by almost crashing to the wall. But at any rate, you'd be able to uh, create these really big ships with hyperdrives almost that would accelerate you straight to maximum speed um, and you would be able to make high speed turns without worrying about complex arrays of thrusters and stuff. You could just use the thrusters for maneuvering when you get to your destination. Um, of course you'd need a hell of a lot of gyros to pull off any kind of useful turning in a big ship, but if you design them for that purpose you could probably do it. Now I've tried experimenting with sticking a drive like this on the front of the big red ship, but uh, that ship is just horribly over-engineered, even on the best of times you're still not going to get much turning out of it, though it does allow some pretty rapid acceleration as I'm about to demonstrate next. I'm able to produce quite tight turns with no noticeable drift going on here. Um, it's difficult to kind of display on a ship this size, but there is certainly little drift going on. I'm making very rapid turns and precise. Now, obviously this technique does have a few disadvantages, which is that you can only drive in one direction with it, and it does not really allow for stopping when you get to your destination, even if it does have its own kind of damping effect. So you are going to need braking thrusters for your ship, and you'll probably want maneuvering thrusters too, just so you can move around at the receiving end. This is more like a hyperdrive than a, uh, a main sort of cruising engine. Another massive disadvantage, of course, is that it tends to produce a very large gravitational field. That little ship I was testing earlier had a gravitational force of around 18 gravities, I think. And of course, if you fly past the station, you're going to end up throwing everybody into space. They're not going to be very happy with you. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, that concludes my uh, thoughts and discovery. And hopefully it turns out useful. I would say I hope you've enjoyed the video, but it's been amateur as hell, really. This isn't my thing. But I hope you can enjoy what the uh, products that you can achieve with it. And now, since I know that this is what everyone's been wanting to watch happen, because what's the point of playing this game if you're not going to crash a ship down then? Here's the graffiti drive versus my uh, personal little ship. <laughs> I say little, but I try. Wow, that was utterly destroyed. <laughs>